you know, you can always make more money repairing plastic car parks than replacing them. Well, that's coming right up. Well, we're at the 2017 Auto Mechanic in Chicago, and we're in the Polyvance booth, and with me is uh, Kurt, and he knows so much about plastic repair. Um, so, uh, first of all, uh, we know that body shops have uh, issues today with plastic repair, um, and, and we all know that you can make more money doing labor than just buying something and sticking on there. And you've got a great program for that, right? Sure. Tell us about that. How does it work? And, uh, and then we'll probably have you show us a little bit of something here on the table. So why, why Polyvance? Well, we've been a, a manufacturer of plastic repair and refinishing products since 1981, so we know it very, very well. We know that there's a lot of structural, or no, I'm sorry, non-structural plastics on the front of the vehicle, say the bumper fascia, headlights, inner fender liners, overflow bottles, washer bottles, all that non-structural plastic right. can be repaired profitably with our products. It's, so the one product that we have here that we're really showing off is our nitrogen plastic welder. We came up with the, the concept back in 2006, and we're in our, our fifth generation plastic welder right now. Uh, this is a tool that body shops can use to repair all of that non-structural plastic profitably. Right. So uh, with the tool and perhaps some uh, material that you supply, mm -hmm. uh, all of these things that you talked about and perhaps were almost impossible to repair or very difficult to repair in the past can now be done in your shop. So can you show us how it works? Okay, what we're going to do, Jim, is we're going to repair this plastic bumper. This is a very common type of material. It's a polypropylene blended with uh, synthetic rubber. This crack will be repaired with our nitrogen plastic welder. We'll use a little aluminum tape on the cosmetic side to hold it together. I will clip it to the table here and I'll do the weld right here. Using our nitrogen plastic welder and uh, the reason we're using nitrogen is that nitrogen will melt the plastic without burning it. When we eliminate the oxygen, uh, it will melt the plastic cleanly with no combustion and no contamination and therefore make the strongest weld possible. You'll notice that after I got everything warmed up there with the hot nitrogen gas, I apply a little downward pressure on the rod. And the critical thing is to make sure that both plastics are melted before they come together. So um, see how I'm playing the heat on both the bumper and the bottom of the welding rod. So both of those surfaces are melted and they're fused together by application of the downward pressure on the, on the rod. I come right to the end here and I can fold it back like that, nip it off and then while it's still hot I'm going to come back with our airless plastic welder and smooth the edges. Now we also, uh, we make a full line of plastic repair products including a do-it-yourselfer model which is our airless plastic welder which can do an excellent job repairing a uh, variety of plastic uh, parts. Now that the backside of the repair is done and it's cooled off a little bit, we're going to flip it over. I'm going to peel the tape off the front side and now the front side is ready to be welded. I need to first v-groove it so that uh, so that we will have room for the welding rod after we sand it flush. There will still, still be some welding rod there so I need to v-groove it about the width of the, wel of the welding rod. Okay, so now we're going to go back with the uh, medium width ribbon, polypropylene ribbon, and we'll go ahead and uh, weld that with the nitrogen again. And again, you want to pre-melt the bumper and the end of the welding rod for about 10 seconds. Let things nice and melted. Stick the welding rod down, apply a little downward pressure, roll it toward the torch, and keep the heat focused right there where the rod and bumper come together. Again, melting, make sure to melt both plastics at the same time. Fusing the uh, welding rod down onto the uh, substrate. When we get to the end, we're going to cut it off. And then, again, take the airless welder and we can smooth this out. Make sure that uh, all the high spots are worked down and we have enough material we can flow into the, the low spots. 
and hopefully when we get done with this repair, we won't have to use very much filler at all at the end. Let me just work a little bit of this back here. All right, that would finish it up and then it's just a matter of cooling it off. And once it's cool, and I, I won't be able to do this one here, but I'll go ahead and sand. I'll show you a sanding on a weld that I did previously that's already cool. You take 80 grit in a DA sander and quickly you can work that down. And a very nice finish on that weld. And it's just a skim coat of filler and then it will be ready for primer. Kurt, that was impressive. And it looked like it was really easy to do. And you were having fun doing it too, oh, weren't yeah. you? you All right. So uh, I guess the next big thing is how do the folks find out more about Polyvance? How do they get a hold of you to get more information? Sure. Well, they can come to our website, polyvance.com. Okay. We also have a YouTube channel. If you look at uh, look, search for Polyvance, you'll find all of our training videos there too. And you can call our 800 number, which is 800 633 3047. Awesome. All right, so all that stuff will be in the metadata down below the video. So uh, if you're into uh, or want to be into plastic repair, check this out. I think you're going to be glad you did. Mm -hmm.